Welcome back to That Bee Man at Faith Apiaries. In this video, you maybe should call me That Bed Man. Now, I'm not trying to be dirty or anything. Uh, this is going to be a video, and possibly a video series, on uh, building a bed. My wife and I have decided that uh, we want to change our bed. We currently have a queen size uh, sleigh bed style bed. It's nothing really fancy. And what we want to change to is a king size bed. And uh, I decided to build a uh, what I call a cabinet bed. Some people call it a platform bed. Um, I'll, I'll go over kind of the design of it so you get an idea of what I'm talking about. Basically it's Basically, it's just a big square box uh, with some uh, storage cubbies in it. Everybody needs storage, and we're no different. We have some uh, storage containers that we use that will fit into the cubbies perfectly. Uh, I had a little bit of red oak plywood to use. I bought a little bit more. Uh, I have some spruce plywood that I'm going to use. It's going to be chiefly plywood, this project. Uh, five sheets of plywood <laughs> to be honest a king size bed is a big bed and that's not even a headboard footboard the headboard footboard may come later uh, depending on how good I feel <laughs> I'm gonna make the platform bed uh, get it all put together and uh, in use and then perhaps make a headboard footboard later uh, but those aren't necessary right now I'll show you the design that I've come up with uh, I've worked a long time on this design and uh, then we'll dive right in and start cutting up some lumber and making sawdust and making noise and using the shop for what it's meant for. So hope you enjoy the video, hope you enjoy the series. So here's the platform bed. Now this is a program called SketchUp. If you do any woodworking and you don't know how to use SketchUp you'd be well advised to learn. Uh, there's a free version of it. This is the older computer-based version. The new version is uh, web-based. It's it's still good. Uh, I just know the computer one and I still have it, so uh, it's easier for me to use. Uh, so anyway, here's the platform bed. I've got it set up on a pedestal, three and a half inches tall. Uh, we're set in, we're set in maybe five and a quarter, I think, from here there the head end is set in very little just so that it clears uh, any baseboard you might have in the room and then this would go right up to the wall you notice I have a couple different kinds of material here I have plywood here that's oak plywood I'll stain that and finish it with a polyurethane to make it nice and tough anything that's not seen known as secondary lumber uh, secondary wood is just spruce plywood I don't want to use very expensive oak plywood where I can use spruce. So we have a big king size mattress here on top. As you can see, I'll move that. Actually, I'll delete that. So then you can see what's underneath here. Uh, basically, what this is is two cabinets. We have a cabinet here and a cabinet here. And what I've done is I've, I've added the trim pieces to the cabinet after I created the cabinet which is fine that's no big deal so these cabinets will be built in separate pieces so that I can uh, so that I can go ahead and move them into the room and assemble them in place don't forget there's five sheets of plywood in this so this is going to be a heavy sucker when it's all together um, as mentioned I have containers some uh, storage bins that will slide right in these openings and and I'm showing you one side but the other side is a mirror image of that so these are just plywood panels I've got three plywood strips here uh, for construction and then I'll lay in plywood fillers here this part, because I've got a solid panel in here on the trim, 
this part's going to be dead space because it, generally there's a nightstand or something up against your bed. So this will be dead space. I'm not sure what's going to be in there. Maybe I'll hide my money in there, <laughs> which means it'll be empty. <clears throat> so pretty basic construction. I'll take these away. Uh, so these these plywood, these oak plywood strips here will go all the way across and then we'll have some dividers set in here. It's basic dado construction here, so we just cut dados, dado in this part. There's a shallow dado here in each side and there are dados cut in the bottom here for these pieces to slide into. And so that's pretty well it. Uh, so I can go here. Let me put this back together and then I'll close it. So this is basically what it looks like. These are my, these are my cut lists, if you want to call it. This is my layouts. So I've been able to make a, a platform of, of four by eight sheet of plywood and then lay out all my components on those so that I can get my my cut list. Uh, this helps me when I'm breaking down my material so that I can do it in a logical way. For example, uh, I need these two little pieces so I'm going to line that right up so that I can rip this right down the end and then I'll just cut this right off. Otherwise, you know, you're wasting steps perhaps. You know, this won't be done like this. This will be cut right off. This little piece will come over here into this corner. These, you know, these are lined up just right so that this can be cut across here and then ripped up into, into strips. So anyway, that's uh, this. But, but SketchUp is very handy because then you can, you can come up here. I can get this piece of plywood on the on the table saw and then I can just measure it and I can say it's 28 and a quarter wide by 37 inches long. So that is the definitive size for that and once I get all these components break, broken down then I can take these components and reassemble them here on the computer so that I can see that they all fit together properly. Once I know they all fit together properly then I can be assured that this is my pattern and I can just go ahead and rip all of these materials down, <clears throat> even these very expensive sheets of oak plywood, and uh, they'll all fit together. I waste a lot less material now than I used to before I used SketchUp. Uh, I spent a lot more time planning a project then I spend executing the project and things go far smoother and I'm far less stressed when I'm doing it. It's stressful because ex material's expensive and you cut a piece wrong and then now you've got to buy another piece of material. You have to drive all the way town to get it. You spend another day, your project comes to a screeching halt, all that kind of wonderful stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the series. Um, I hope I enjoy the series been a while since I've built some furniture. This trim that I've got set up here to go on these cabinets is uh, is oak lumber. It's white oak. Uh, the plywood is a red oak plywood. The trim is a white oak uh, lumber and I have found that they actually get along well together once I stain them. I have what's called an early American stain not a high-end stain it's just a minwax it's available at my local hardware store and it's a minwax early American it's called and it gives me the the, uh, the tone that I really want on this oak um, and then uh, once it's sanded stained then I will then I will polyurethane the pieces I think I'm going to polyurethane most of it either before I assemble or before a complete assembly just because of the the nature of these cubbies it's hard to finish cubbies when they're you have to reach right in there or something so uh, we'll we'll deal with that as we go along 
So anyway, we'll get these built. We'll get the platform built, and then we'll take it in the room and put it all together. So hopefully you enjoy the series. <laughs>